here we have a Cypress Bluetooth Low Energy kit. Uh, this kit has an evaluation board and it comes with both the PSOC 4 and the PROC BLE modules. Within this kit we have the red board which is a carrier and on that red board we have the PSOC 4 module, plug-in module. We have a second module in black which is the PROC chipset. The PROC has more peripherals and has more features than the PSOC 4. Uh, both of them have the Cortex M0 with 48 megahertz processor and both of them have 128 kbytes of flash and 16 kbytes of RAM. What's also included with the kit is an evaluator USB dongle tool. This tool is used to uh, connect to either of these boards if you don't have um, an iPad or an iPhone or an Android uh, device to test remotely with. And the rest of the kit you'll get a USB cable, some wire jumpers, and a point cell battery. Uh, there's some good information on the actual box itself, um, some additional resources, most importantly um, there is a link to the kit contents uh, for software. This kit actually comes with some example code to work with PSOC Creator 3.1 or later. Uh, PSOC Creator 3.1 or later will have the support for the Bluetooth Lonergy stack. Out of the box, the uh, module should be already programmed. Uh, this particular module will be um, a central device and this one will be a peripheral device using a CapSense uh, example on uh, dimming and turning on and off an LED on this board. So out of the box uh, the user's guide will state to plug in the coin cell battery and once you plug in the coin cell battery you hit the, this button here you can see the uh, LED blinking it's in advertisement mode uh, this dongle right here is actually uh, the central device and it's looking to connect to this particular uh, device or this custom profile that's running on here. I just have a uh, USB power supply block here just to kind of show that uh, it's all running completely standalone. There's no PC tools. So this is, uh, again, uh, just a USB power block. Once I connect this module, uh, and then I hit the connect again. Let me do a reset. There we go. Sorry. This is the reset button. And this is the uh, advertisement packet. So um, I had to set it back into advertisement mode. And the central device has found the um, evaluation board. So here's the cap, tits, cap sense slider bar. So I can actually turn on the LED. If you can see here, the brightness is changing with the LED state. So again, this is a, using a custom um, profile, example profile, using the uh, a GAT and GAP later example project with a CapSense. Uh, very easy, out of the box. This firmware should be programmed in the module, and. Uh, Later on, in another video, we will discuss about uh, actually programming and using PSOC Creator on uh, creating example projects in here. Okay.